So you were 21 years, three months and three days old when the European election results came in. What is it like to be the youngest MEP elected into the European Parliament? It feels really strange. Like in some ways I just still see myself as just a normal person. And, but I know that I've also achieved something that no one else has done before. So it's it, like my, I just have to tune in on my new identity as an MEP. And also I feel a lot of like a big responsibility so that all the young people who voted for me because they're tired of not being listened to in the climate crisis, that they will see that their voices were actually uh, meant for something. Why did you decide to run in the first place? Well, I think I decided to run because I was also tired that my generations weren't being listening to. Mm. Uh, and also I was told that also as a young female, most often there's like they, I was also running against two other males in my youth party at the beginning. Uh, but I was told that if you don't do it, you can't expect other young female politicians to do it. So al also to do, like to make the way for people coming out from like future generations was important for me also. Should Parliament do something to help young people get elected quicker? For example, introduce a youth quota maybe? Uh, I don't think that we should do any legislations that makes it easier for young people to be elected, like quotas. Uh, but I think it's important that we, in each political group in the European Parliament, talks about uh, how is our group, uh, like is it balanced, both with gender and with age also, and background. And then uh, we also take the discussions in the national uh, parties. I think that's the best solution. Is there anything that surprised you during your first days in the Brussels bubble? Uh, yeah, it surprised me that uh, I remember I thought that it would be uh, super fancy and everyone sitting really concentrated. And I remember Tay Reinke from, uh, from my party, who's a German MEP. Uh, she was at one point walking around uh, barefoot without her shoes uh, because, and was just being really chill and also doing her, her nails. Uh, so it was quite interesting to see how this big important parliament is also just a parliament with normal people. You are part of the Danish Greens. Over the next five years, what are your priorities? Well, my priorities is that we can see changes in the Greenways, so that when we have the new budget for the next uh, seven years, that we can just tune a little bit on the green investments and in the research. Uh, because if we do just small things in the budget, it has enormous uh, effects. And also with the common agricultural policies, that we will not just support uh, big productions, but also will support plant-based uh, agriculture and more environmentally friendly agriculture. If we meet back here in five years, what would you like to have achieved by the end of your first term? Well, I would like to have achieved uh, green, uh, green changes on the budget and the common agricultural policies. I would also like to have contributed to young people's understanding of what the European Union is and what we're doing and also that we as young people in Europe have the same interests in many ways like with the climate change and the uh, uh, economic issues in, in many countries so that we're not as national as we might think. The EU institutions currently struggle to elect their leadership. What do you think about the whole negotiations and the fact that the Greens are slightly underrepresented? Mm, well, I think the, the negotiations on who should be the, the president of the commission and have all these fancy jobs are actually quite annoying because for me it takes focus away from the politics and put it around the people and the specific persons instead of... So I'm not sure what Timmerman or Weber wants to do with the climate. I just know that they want to be commissioner president. Uh, so I think that, and I think, feel it's, it's quite a big shame that after we had a big election where a lot of people actually voted and the voter turnout was higher in most countries, that instead of focusing on what changes do we want, we focus on which names should be in the top.